Mr. Shahriar Kubir, uh, you are a renowned writer and you have been making documentary films for several years now. Uh, the trilogy on jihad that you have been making, uh, you recently brought the third and the last final part of the trilogy called The Ultimate Jihad. Could you please uh, tell us uh, about the content of the documentary? Well, the name you have said, it is Ultimate Jihad and uh, who are the perpetrators of jihad, global jihad. And what I exposed in my film, it is about Al-Qaeda, Muslim Brotherhood and jamaat e islami Mainly these three organizations are perpetrating this jihadi politics throughout the world that is terrorism in the name of religion. I started my film with the incident of, tragic incident of 9-11 and on that particular day I have shown this film in New York, our mission in New York, they have arranged this screening and I have also dedicated this film to the victims of 9-11. What I feel that the tragic incident of 9-11, the horrendous, you know, the killing of 9-11, it is very much related with all kind of killing in the name of Islam that we have seen in uh, Bangladesh in uh, 1971. Three million people have been killed in the name of Islam. And later we have seen since 9-11, there are many, many killings still going on and that is in the name of Islam. But in my film, I also tried to explain that this is not Islam. The Islam preached by the Sufis, that is Islam of amity, Islam of peace, Islam of submission. And I have interviewed some uh, very eminent Islamic scholars as well about the Islam of jamaat islami Al-Qaeda and Muslim Brotherhood as well as Islam that Sufi preached in the uh, whole world. And this documentary is based on interviews and collection of information from seven countries? Indeed. Indeed, I have uh, interviewed some of the very important uh, uh, terrorism experts, even in Washington, D.C. Uh, you know, uh, one of them is Mr. Bruce Riedel, who was the advisor to the four former uh, or present uh, president, uh, starting from senior Bush to current president Barack Obama. He explained about Jamaat Islamis and uh, Muslim Brotherhood's global jihadi network. And he suggested what should be the role of U.S. government. And he criticized this uh, military intervention of U.S. government. For a short time, it is okay. But in the long run, you have to, you know, strengthen the secular democratic forces in these countries. Those are directly affected by Islamic militancy. They're affected by Muslim Brotherhood mindset politics or Jamaat Islamist politics. So it is the people of Bangladesh, Pakistan, Egypt, they, were, they should fight back the extremism, the sectarianism, communalism or fundamentalism in their own countries. But what we expect from United States or from the West, that you should support the secular democratic forces to grow up in these countries. So that is the core message of my film. Now that you have finished the trilogy, what is your uh, next project? Well, uh, my next uh, film is about the Sufi and Bhakti legacy of South Asia. The way Islam has been demonized in the West, it is not uh, a too correct uh, you know, image of Islam. The Islam we have seen uh, recently while shooting in Turkey. I visited Konya, the bur uh, place of Maulana Jalaluddin Rumi. And uh, he talked about humanism. Religion is a personal matter. And he talked about humanism, love for mankind. And that is, uh, the legacy has been carried out to Pakistan or Bangladesh. The Lalon is the last of the Sufi legacy, what we have seen. So now I am trying to link, you know, Konya to Kushtia. So this is the human Islam. And as well as in India, we have seen the Bhakti movement. Again, that is, uh, though it is religious, but it talked about humanism. So in every religion, there are elements of humanism. So we have to start those dialogues, the interfaith dialogue, as well as to pick up those human element, humanist element from all religion. And so the, we can promote this uh, concept of secular humanism throughout the world. Uh, Shariar Kobi, thank you very much. I wish you all the best in your next project. And I also hope that uh, humanism will be victorious in the end. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.